Bless this meat. You not gonna finish it? You haven't even introduced this yet. Yeah, we're but, technically not here yet. No, I figure you know we we come in as a unit. Oh, I well, didn't know are. that plan. <laughs> You didn't say anything about and then, it. You like just like what the fuck? <laughs> I'm like, uh, All right. <laughs> well, what's up? <laughs> hey, y'all, cinema folks, what's going on? Welcome to Back to Classics, the cinematic movie podcast that takes you back to the iconic films of 20 years ago. I am your guy, Jay Alonzo. We're on iHeartRadio. I always forget to say that because it's almost unbelievable that. Now nah, you just be forgetting. I'll be forgetting. For I'll be part. forgetting too. And if you hear these various voices, because it is a family affair today. A. a shout out to the family in the building. I think this movie is is special for that exact reason. So I'm gonna go around the room. To my left is my actual brother, the uh, mastermind behind Beat Network. Uh, one half of the noise duo makes some noise for Big Los. I don't even have to say anything at this point. You already did the whole. I just gave you a good intro. So, I'm, so I, say what hello. Do I follow up with that. Hi. <laughs> What's up? How you doing? What it is? It's How close. you doing? I'm well. I'm tired. Word. But you know, I'm here. Word. I'm ready to get hungry? Except them greens. The greens are nasty as fuck. <laughs> Next to Lowe's, we have Beat Network contributing writer, genius when it comes to crafting these awesome articles that we share with you folks every day. Make some noise for a second time on the show. Ebony Adagoon. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Ebony right. Onomatopoeia. <laughs> That's pretty much how people say it. Yeah. I give you every big word. Ap- apostrophe. Like, yeah. Her middle name Super is like, it, it's almost like a final. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Her, her middle name is like a final exam to really like say it. It's only 14 letters. Like it's Only. Word, you right. pretty much just said it. Like you, you know you get the Scantron. Yeah. <laughs> All of you those use, letters are in you there. You can literally <laughs> use every letter in her name to fill out a Scantron and be done with a test. You spell Abacadabra. Exactly. <laughs> Ebony Abracadabra. <laughs> yeah. All right. We can roll with that. And next to Ebony, one half of the Pillow Talk podcast, the super cool, super funny, the super sexy. What's up, Casey? Oh, no, not Casey. I'm tripping. Mrs. Jackson. Well, there we Casey, go. Miss Jackson, Jackson, if you're nasty. Right. Don't say too much. She's in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> we I don't want that. I don't want, want that. I don't want to do nothing that's going to get nobody shot or right. none of that shit. Right. You might just want to leave it at cute. I'm cute. <laughs> <laughs> She's the tolerable KC. <laughs> the super Jackson, suitable if Mrs. Jackson if you're nasty. Y'all tried it. Hospitable. Y'all tried it. <laughs> Great <A-Y-P>. teeth. <laughs> Loves God. All Praise that good him. Shit. Praise him. Hallelujah. 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 So, how's everybody doing? How's the week? What's a good week so far? I'm moving. So, the moving stresses is a bitch. of moving. The biggest bitch. Yeah. So, once that's done, I'll be cool. I can relax, kick back in my new pad. I'll be Word. excited then. You already all packed up? I'm getting there. Right. I have a couple of more days. I don't like to wait till the last minute, but I got people playing mm. games. Games. We won't, we won't go into too many specifics because they may listen to this show. KC's anger scared. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Because, because it's real. It's real would, small. No. It's, it's very. It's very quiet and, and, and quaint. So it's like she can. She'll jump off on you, and you don't even see it coming. I don't want to be on the receiving end when she's angry. Y'all really tried it. I have to feel yeah. like I feel red. Because like, yeah. You remember Ace Ventura when Nature Calls? Like when Tommy Davidson went off. I just I see <laughs> that coming. Listen, my <laughs> line, <laughs> right, exactly. I'm gonna tell you how accurate that is. My line name see? is Firecracker. Thing. And your yeah. maid. That, I forgot about that part. <laughs> my oh, yeah. name is Fire. She Tyler. has this prerequisite of crazy already. <laughs> <laughs> like it's, it's there. She got some stories. Mm. Mrs. Jackson, if you're nasty, I'm going to call you Casey. Period. I, uh, yeah, cool. Uh, she she strikes me as a person that after the argument is done, you think, well, I, I got my last word out and that's final. No. She hits you with a prison, a prison-like shank. And like, Ooh. you didn't even see it coming. It was almost like, all right, so you over there then? All right, cool. Why the fuck am I bleeding all of a sudden? And you're back in the same spot I just saw you at 30 seconds ago. But you know what, though? Ninja. I understand why she's Ninja happily, shit. I understand why she's happily married because the craziest normally have the best box. Oh. Normally. Silence. All right. Pillow talk. <laughs> BTTC. I feel like we can't pillow talk. Sweet sex in here just because you. Cause, I know. It's kind of like. Oh, and this is a movie about but family. This is, this is what the not, hell? Uh, there's sex in here. Did you not see Lim in the bathroom with Bird? No, no, no. That's the marriage I'm looking forward to. Before we even get to that. Before we get to that. You know, but listen. You know the coochie had to be clean because she stuck. Took her panties. panties and put it in Wait, the mouth. Wait, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. flexibility on that leg, though. The guy was like, that's... Hey, skill. We're going to get there. But just to touch on, on the sex part, 
the the Miles and Faye scene, though fucked up in in concept, has inspired me to do exactly that Look when I first saw. Oh my like, boy! To the I that. mean, it's a fucked up situation for sure, but <laughs> it's inspiring as shit. I don't you know. Just gonna I, go fuck the cousin. That look like that's a I'm not gonna fuck a cousin, fuck but as far as like, uh, say, no, no, it. see, oh, that's going no. on another round now. See, but I know it. You said you were inspired. I just want to see how inspired exactly. Right. You gotta put details. You know how she is. She gonna be asking all kinds of questions. Like, oh, so you just gonna do this? Like, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so 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 the cousin that's a dancer. And you know, like the third generation cousin, you go fuck her too. <laughs> like, well, no, no, <laughs> just not invited to my house. Well, this may be a little talk, but I had experiences with a cousin before. I didn't know. Oh, yeah, I remember defense, this story, but you didn't know. I think I've heard the story. Yeah, maybe we might have to go into details on that. I didn't know, but shit I mean, happens. You didn't know. I mean, you take like a long three-hour shower. I can't tell the truth on what happened. I would, Bye. Next. Okay. All right. So, so, all right. So you're <laughs> all right. Moving on. <laughs> so, we're going to get into two minute drill, but for this special episode, and it's many more voices than just two, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll add a few minutes to it. We'll do four minute drill off top. I feel like Ebony has like some deep questions that you know, I probably I, got, I brought my college skills back, and I got about two and a half pages. Where did this book come from? Watching fucking soul food. No, yeah. no, no. Where'd you pull the book from? It was on the table. She had it stuffed in her bra. I, I, that was my first thought. <laughs> I, I was like, it's I've big seen enough. Some, I've seen fucking that's like, college rule paper. How you do that? Alcohol get pulled out of paper, so it wouldn't necessarily blow my mind if you pulled this wide rule note paper out your fucking bra. But I, mean, I was just really looking like it probably where really was could it? at it least be halfway capable. be able to fit in there. Like no lie, it might be capable. See, now that's how you get men to read more of your articles. Now, well, she got some titties on. <laughs> yeah, Let me see what did Rihanna do today. <laughs> Everybody has titties? <laughs> well, yeah. Well, technically, you could see it in her uh, her profile picture. Profile you kind of can. On Big Network Online.com. Like, you can kind of see it. There, yeah, there she has going. those pillow-talking titties that we were talking about. <laughs> and, and no matter what picture you see the men, they always have, like, once you go past her face, it immediately goes to the curve. Like, yep, those are breasts. They're like the I'm show. up here. Table. It's like a child trying to poke his head in to get in the picture. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, she actually she bumped the mic. Prepping for the show, and the, and the mic had bass when she hit it. Yeah, you guys. So I was like <laughs> adjusting myself in the chair, and you know, That's you know, you sit up a little bit, in. and the shelf kind of hit the mic away, and I was like, "Look what my titties did! Look, this look was, what they did!" This is fantastic to family conversation. This is a great family conversation right. movie, by the That's way. That's hilarious. And just to kind of keep the people in the know, every time you do hit it during the show, I'm like, "Titty bump, titty bump." Yeah. So if you hear like a hashtag quick, titty bump, you know, boom. We're not even gonna, 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 the the chair we're not like, gonna stretch it out. We're just gonna say titty bop in the middle of whatever the titty sentence bop. is. And I remember when Big Mama titty bop. That's she had to, <laughs> <laughs> that would be an awesome drinking game, by like, the titty way. Bop. <laughs> titty bop. Titty <laughs> bop. All right, so y'all got your questions ready, man. Hell yeah. So we got four minute drill. Okay. How are we gonna do this though? We're gonna go clockwise. So whoever answers it first it gets a point? Yeah, and I, and, I, and I actually have a scoreboard because low side never have a scoreboard, and I don't give you enough don't. time. But we'll go counterclockwise, and then I just said clockwise. I'm sorry. Thank you. Appreciate that. Clockwise, because okay. you you know I, you got to keep up. I smoked before this. <laughs> yeah. Right. So yeah. we're going to counterclockwise. <laughs> counterclockwise. There we go. So boom, boom. All right. Yeah. Okay, people. Let's hope for the best. <laughs> <laughs> Four minute drill, starting now. Casey, what family member is always hitting them for $2? $2. Five. Four. I don't know. The little girl. Three. That is wrong. That would be Uncle Remus. He kind of resembles Samuel L. Jackson. As a matter of fact, when Uncle you first Remus. see him, he's already waving $2 in the camera like, can you match that? I don't recall him in the right. movie. He was a non motherfucking factor. Ooh. He was, but you know, you know. <laughs> I just realized he was only in the first 10 We're minutes so of the movie. What are you, 10 minutes? Right? We're oh, my bad. Okay. Minutes. <laughs> K- okay. Casey, ask Ebony. Your question, go. Okay, Ebony. Mm-hmm. I'll give you a good one because you got this big old notepad. What's not on this notepad? You, the credits. <laughs> <laughs> right. The soundtrack list. <laughs> Best boy. Okay, I got one. So, damn. Okay, y'all got to help me. Waste of time. What's his name? I don't know. <laughs> That's a <laughs> good question. What's his name? No, for real, I can't think of it. What does he look like? Um... This is five minute oh drill now. I told y'all. Yeah, see, uh, maybe I should Can we do a pass? No. Uh, Max. Okay, Max's husband. What's his name? Oh, this uh, is not Kenny. your question. Okay. Kenny. So okay. Kenny. Okay. Okay. Oh, that was a question. That was, no, that was not the question. question. That was. A Can question. I get an extra point for answering? 
Sure. Okay. Extra credit. Put that on there. Right, well. <laughs> she okay. gets half a point. Go she got a point away with the question. Go ahead. Okay, listen. What other movie, popular 90s black mu- movie, was he in? I don't know. This is supposed to be about Soul Food, right? Yeah, he was in Soul Food. Yeah, so. She's stretching out with the actual question. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, that's wrong. Okay, anyway. If you look at him, on. you should know. I got though. my bonus points, so I'm sure. I got my Waiting bonus points. Waiting to so exhale. Girl. Oh, yeah. You sure the fuck was. Yeah. Just, just use my toothbrush. I just noticed that when he opened the door. I'm like, that's the nigga that was girl when he was on the. It's a long time. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Lowe's. Mm-hmm. What. Was the reason why? No, that's too easy. Sorry. It's not <laughs> as easy as you think. Okay. We have a minute forty-seven. I know we wasted so much time. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> um, who? What was the name of the person that was in the room and never came out? Uncle uh, Uncle Pete. There we go. Uncle Pete. Okay. Pete. Jay Alonzo. I needed an easy question like that. How many years was Kenny and Max celebrating at their anniversary party? Ooh. Was it 11 years? Damn. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker Jay Alonzo. All right. Uh, KC, we got a minute 15. All right, KC, uh, why did Lim get fired? Because he lied on his application. He that was the easiest fucking question. Yeah. All right. yeah that pissed that video off. Oh, We're all tired. <laughs> <in your face. laughs> your Just hit this. Okay, Ebony, how many pinches of salt for the ham hocks? Three? Four. Damn it! <laughs> okay. Lowe's. When they did not have Sunday dinner for the first time, how many years was it before they broke the tradition? 40 years. <laughs> All right. Lowe's in the lead. We got 45 seconds. You dig me? What did Big Mama's husband own? Ooh. Shit. Yeah. Ooh, I know. It was. Can I, can I get it for the point? Wasn't it cleaners? Okay. It's, he had three businesses, partner. Oh, shit. I know, right? <laughs> and one was not a cleaner. Uh, mm-hmm. one, one, one was a cleaner. was cleaners. That's not what I had. Uh, That's not. Shop. Okay. <laughs> no, right. It was a barbershop, barber corner store, and laundromat. Oh. So where is the cleaners? Oh, cleaners we call it laundry, laundromat. We call it laundromat the cleaners. Oh, that's not the cleaners. The <laughs> okay. cleaners is okay. the okay. cleaners. Go ahead. Right. Go ahead. Of course. What's the name of Miles' group? Milestone. All right. Ooh, nigga. Um. <laughs> We got five. Old school four, remedy for burns. Three. She burned two. her arm. Oh, she did some what? Oh, oh, me the My grandma used to tell me aloe vera. We got aloe vera in the, in the, butter, in the front. Turpentine, salve, and herbs. But it wasn't. But, but it wasn't tussing. You know, most most grandma. Right, give me that tussing. Hit, boy, put some tussing on that on that broken leg and go to sleep. Oh my god. Well, we had West Indian uh, grandmother, so it was quick fucking crying. That normally was our <laughs> medicine to get better. Are you dead, though? <laughs> okay, so so real quick, the scoreboard for a four-minute drill, which is, I, I guess, was successful toward the latter half of it. Uh, we have a tie, with the winners being Los and Casey. I'm still hey. undefeated. And then uh, me and Ebony are tied, so y'all got to rock, paper, scissors or some shit to... No, we, 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 you know, so I, I could tie up with my, with what my beat family members. Just whatever. So, if you don't know what movie we're talking that. about, we're taking it back to 1997 once again with the uh, uh, family drama, a bit of a comedy too. I didn't think it was yeah. so many laughs in there. Um, Soul Food. Woo. Oh shit. 20 years since Soul Food. Um, That's crazy. Original release date, September 26, 1997. Production budget of $7.5 million with a box office total of $43 million. Wow. So it made some money back. Uh, shares opening weekend with the Alec Baldwin, Anthony Hopkins uh, survival drama The Edge, and this movie currently holds at eighty percent on on Rotten Tomatoes, which is Not a shocker bad. to me because Rotten Tomatoes they don't show love to movies. They brutal, right? Uh, movies like these they destroy Tyler Perry. They don't like <laughs> man. Don't well, like Tyler Perry's series are kind of different. <laughs> but I, I, but I think this is like almost like the the you know the blueprint of what Tyler Perry created later on in life because you know a lot of Tyler Perry's movies pretty much have the same formula. The same formula, same bad acting. Oh my God, I can't believe Jesus! Don't, don't help get me. that. Oh my God, don't get that paper. Lord I think help me. The only me. difference between a Tyler Perry movie and Soul Food is at least Tyler Perry gives some black men a good. Even notice every nigga in this movie wants shit, but like, he, but every he, last he, one. Of them no, did that. well, like, no, because think about it. Because the um, Reverend wasn't shit. The Reverend wasn't shit because he was out there motorboating uh, Nia Long character. Right. Well, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> what, what, what was it? Neil? No, it was. Uh, Bird. It was. Uh, Bird. Is her name? No, yeah, I know it was Bird, but I was trying to think. What was the other one? Faith. He was yeah, motorboating Faith. Faith. Yep. Yeah, but Faith um, had to come. She was 
Yeah, I guess. Yeah. But uh, um, what was it? Kevin? He um, which one was Ke- Kevin? Kevin? Kevin and Max. That's right. So Kevin, he was originally with um, Terry. Kenny. Yeah. Kenny. 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 I'm sorry. Kenny, yeah, Kenny was originally with Terry. Was originally right? with Terry. Yeah. Um, then of course you got Michael Beach's character who was cheating with said ho uh, Faye. <laughs> said ho. And um, uh, what was the other nigga name? Low. Lim. Of course, Lim, Lim had his issues. <laughs> Samuel. <laughs> Lim was a criminal. Right. <laughs> um, okay, so, and so he opens up with freaking his ex at the wedding. At the wedding. We had the craziest representation and, and, in this and movie. We, we, we're going to get to that because the first thing I want to talk about is the actual uh, things in this movie that you relate to, right? So I'm going to ask you first, Casey. Like, so the very first time you've seen Soul Food, we... What, what were we like nine at the time? What was that? We all at different ages. I was so probably a little bit older, but yeah, <laughs> obviously. Uh, okay, it's definitely yeah, a shuffle as far as who um, was what. Shading out. I'll say this: <laughs> <laughs> the first time we seen this movie, we saw it at the Magic Johnson theaters in L.A., and of it was course. at least 10. everybody saw it at Magic. Johnson Oh, it was theaters. crowded. It was cr- like Soul Food had sold out shows for sure. And the funny thing about it was, of course, it was all black people. Right. But it was some sprinkles of <laughs> No, no, no. Sprinkles back then. Nah, 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 not back then. Yeah, yeah. three, da- three, so three spritz of salt. Was, oh, damn, oh, black <laughs> only screening. But um when we saw it, it was us, it was mom and dad, it was uncles, it was cousins, grandma went. And when the movie itself, like especially like that last scene when they're showing all the uh you know the the, the bring back the Sunday dinner shit, mm-hmm. right. my uncle sprouts out, Okay, so I'm hungry. We we're gonna go go get some food after this? Nah, he you know, he just leaned over, he was like Roscoe's. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. and then yeah. the entire he theater the bust place. out laughing because they all heard. Because it was a quiet. You know, when they were showing the the food, of course you got like concentrate on yeah. that. Yeah, so it was mad quiet when they was going through the food, and you just heard my uncle Roscoe's. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And when I tell you, we went to Roscoe's right after the movie, and Roscoe's was Pat. crowded. Yeah, Pat, like the whole the whole restaurant went and saw soul food. That was my this. first experience. But I want some motherfucking I black eyed peas, please. <laughs> right. <laughs> so Casey, tell me when you first seen this movie, how did it relate to you? How did you feel about it? I don't think I completely understood what I was watching because I was young. Right. I think I appreciated more at this age, but it was just funny to me. And we just knew the the words, every verse. Like mm. I'm saying it like it's a song, but like for real, word for word, we repeat it. And rewatching it, does it? You can relate to it. Yeah, and it's nostalgic. I got a little teary eyed. Like I remember this. <laughs> you know what? I, I grew up with this. There's a part in this movie where I'm sitting there, I'm like, I, I feel like my shit's getting a little watered up. <laughs> and I've seen this movie before, you know? Right. I know what's going to happen when that, like, cry then. Big Mama getting a leg cut off really did hurt. I'm like, yeah, oh, that's You felt up. that, right? I felt that. Yeah. Ebony, um, with you being uh, Nigerian, which is super cool, you be showing me these Snapchat videos, and y'all be going in. Oh, we like, had so y'all be going in. much fun at the last wedding I went to. So much fun. I remember you talking about it. <laughs> I was, was low-key jealous. I'm like, that shit like, it's fun as a motherfucker. Like, and I knew it was It looked like be. that wedding they had, huh? Mm-hmm. The dance floor no, and all that. Do they dance? Do y'all dance? Oh, I got a picture of right? money on the floor. Up. We were okay. dancing on money. Does your kind <laughs> dance? <laughs> Does your people dance? You know what? Forget you, love. You know what the hell I meant. Like, uh, I don't know what I meant. I'm high. Fuck y'all. So, um, so how does it relate to your Nigerian culture as far as your Sunday dinners with, with uh, Ma and Paul? Well, be real, I never had Sunday dinners with my Ma and Pa because they oh. weren't together. So, oh, okay. Right, but, right. Uh, just Sore being, and, uh, yeah, like, <laughs> uh, uh, wrong question, but okay. <laughs> but, I mean, it's definitely different when you take Thanksgiving, I'm uh, Thanksgiving, God dang it, family dinners. Because it looks like a it Thanksgiving. It does, does look like Thanksgiving because right. that's what we Thanksgiving every Thanksgiving. Sunday. You know how much that bill was to, Cook all the ball that damn food yeah. every Sunday. Just switch out the chicken for I the turkey want to be and a grocery then grocery shopper. She said she had to go grocery shopping for Sunday dinner. I didn't want to pay for that. I wouldn't want to pay for that. <laughs> but I mean, it's different because it's you have American. It's like you know, kind of you're raised with it. And then when it comes to Nigerians, it's kind of like brought in. Mm-hmm. So some of them really love it. Like, oh, this turkey and stuff is. But then again, it's like it's different because you get like jollof rice, gara, like. Which is fucking delicious. And it's like, it's, a, it's like you get that extra like, I'm going to go to my auntie house because she got that jollof rice and plantain right. I want. So, um, but it's cool. But the part that stuck with me the most is like my grandmother, like the grandmother, because my grandmother is like my backbone. Mm-hmm. Not even trying to like, she really is. I 
wouldn't be a lot of places if it wasn't my grandmother. I wouldn't be out here if it wasn't for my grandmother. So that's your big mama. Oh, that that for real. She <laughs> raised me. She took us to church. She cooked. She yeah. took us, you know, clothes shopping, taught us stuff. Like it, yeah. So that's my personal connection to yeah. to soul food. Did anybody watch the uh, soul food TV show? I did. They did have a TV yes, show. Yeah, they they did. I I was younger and I was kind of sheltered mm-hmm. and stuff like that, so I didn't really catch some of it. I was a little bit older. I kind of get away with watching mm-hmm. certain right. things, so just here and there. But you know, it wasn't like I just remember that the characters look vastly different than the characters in the movie. Yeah, back then, like <laughs> recasting was like mm, that's an obvious difference. You know? What I'm yeah, saying? but back twenty years ago, like how many actors really could do it? Wasn't the dark skinned Vanessa Williams in that one? She the was. dark skinned Vanessa Williams played um, Maxine, and mm-hmm. then you have uh, Nicole Ari Parker play mm-hmm. Terry, obviously, and then you had um, Linda you say match skin Linda Williams play, I mean to the T, and then Melinda Williams played a uh, bird. bird. So, and then um, I can't think of who played. Limb. You're not supposed to. Men ain't shit in this movie, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't Grabs Boris Kojo in that? No, though? Boris Kojo played the new dude for Terry after her and Miles broke up. Okay. So basically, this movie uh, tells the story through the eyes of uh, Ahmad, played by uh, Brandon Hammond, who I don't know what he's doing nowadays. Works at Target. But me, Best Buy. He seems like a me, Best Buy nigga. Me and Ebony Googled a picture of him, and he looks like Brandon Ham- He looks like Ahmad. Would you no, want to go see? You want to be sad? Look up a picture of Jonathan Lipnicki. Oh. Well, that's just puberty. He, he couldn't help that. No, I've you've seen puberty in some of these child actors. Jonathan Lipnick, he's something different. They didn't really? got rid of him; they replaced him. Mm. <laughs> he ain't cute no more, like, bro. You look like you. Can... He was so adorable. That was like Stuart Little, right? Yeah. And um, mm. uh, Jerry Maguire. Yeah. Little yeah. vampires. Little vampire. He had a good run, but you only be cute for so long. So, Big Mama. Um, oh, I feel like Big Mama is the character of Big Mama is a hundred percent just a blueprint as like almost the ideal black grandmother mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and for me and Lowe's you know we have our we have two big mamas we have our West Indian big mama and we have our southern big mama well that's one thing um grandma the guy, guy and his grandmother she was a lot more violent than uh, yeah, big yeah. This, I, I, this big mama's <laughs> more southern? so the more no really? she, cause big mama in this movie relates more to the southern uh our southern big mama yeah. our our West Indian guy and his big mama she would hit you yeah with what like, Whatever, what was around? What was there? So you know, I've had a, Southern. I've had an iron thrown at me. Oh, Lord. Uh, I was it we, plugged in? Probably at one point, but I feel <laughs> like it was God, one motion where grandma was just like, oh, snatch and throw. <laughs> um, she, now she hit us with a switch because we spilled Sprite on a white carpet. So she would, we don't know how she even Sprite? saw it. Sprite, yeah. And it's clear. And it's clear. But it's We sticky. don't know how she saw it. We were sitting at the foot of her bed. <laughs> she just saw stay. our head go lower than what it's normally been going. <laughs> so uh, she's she like, something fell. So you following something. And then the switch, <laughs> seven years old, by the way. Oh, <laughs> oh poor baby. And you so, know, beat me into a, a business owner, so that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Jackson will, the Jackson into superstars. It's a, it's a legend. It's a fame. You know what I'm saying? Beat your children. You literally saying. beat the black off of Michael. A, a good actor will get you to fame. <laughs> Shit. Mm-hmm. Um, the characters in this movie, I feel like everybody, everybody can relate to, except Terry, because Terry is, is the type to just throw her, her wealth in your face. And it's like, bitch, we ain't actual. Like, we just want to know, can you help out with, with Big Mama's bills? And do automatically you... Terry's money, <laughs> right? I'm, I'm ATM automatically Terry's money. So, Casey, for you, do you know a Terry? Yeah, a Terry uh, type. Uh, uh, a matter of fact ass bitch, because she like oh, shit. when Lim got Ooh. out, right? And it's mm. like, oh, well, I guess somebody, well, actually, you just couldn't just let the moment be. You actually ass bitch. Just actually go oh. over. She, she works my nerves. But actually ass bitch. Actually. You know, that one who always has something to say? Well, actually, you just can't let somebody Didn't nobody have ask moment. you, all you right? always have some kind and of And usually the, 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 the yeah. actually asses, they, they'll, they'll throw the actually in what has, when, how can you find anything to, to actually me about? Because actually. I want a peanut butter jelly sandwich. Actually. You want to get some strawberry jam because it tastes better. Palm and right. jam. Yeah. Like, jam that's, pu- that's preserved. Get I ain't asked you all that. <laughs> <laughs> ask for where the fucking forks at. That's all I want to know. Where the forks and the knives. So Maxine, uh, played by Vivica, Vivica A. Fox, how would you describe that character? Because you have Terry, who's the successful lawyer. She just, I'm, I'm success. There it is. Mm-hmm. Then you got Bird, who's the, the baby sister. You don't know too much about her background. You know, obviously she was somebody's sugar mom. I mean, sorry, she was somebody's uh, sugar baby at one point. And I hate that light skin fucker in this movie. I can't stand 
I mean, I can't stand him. And then when they zoom in on his mouth, just and it's on his fucking lips, more, and then that, I'm like, over yeah, get, get your pink lip like, ass off. It looked like that he licked his lips a little bit too much. Girl, wasn't they just dripping? Like if he he was it, missing a layer of lip skin. <laughs> <laughs> or you like just had a fresh cup of Kool Aid because that's definitely oh, was some serious <laughs> rain. Or that. So, uh. and so you have uh, McCoy. That's another. That's another man in the movie that was tr- shown as ain't shit. It, so, it really wasn't uh, thirsty. Uh, uh, the light skinned dude, Samuel. He wasn't shit. Was his name at, Samuel? Yeah. 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 Okay. He wasn't shit at the very first frame we saw him. He walked in right. Like, just hit, the whole aura was like this nigga. Why ain't everybody shit. passed coming up in this wedding though? Which is funny to me because I want to touch right. on that because Lim. And, and supposedly his ex girlfriend with her super small ass dress on the is, is giving him the work on the dance floor at that man's wedding. I was lost. And I'm like, so who who gave her the invite? How she get the invite? Or did, she, did she just walk in? She knew what was up and just pulled up. But no That's Facebook like one post of the back best then. Scenes in the movie though. Oh yeah, <laughs> she was going to work. I'm just <laughs> she didn't was. care about who was around. Was and, right. and imagine being in the theater. Watching that scene, like, look at this bitch. Right. Look at this bitch. That's what they were saying. Mm. So, that's why that's the best part. We'll be a lot more. Everybody's happy. We'll, we'll be a lot, lot more happy. happy. We're going to beat that bitch ass. Dun, 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 dun. So, uh, and then, of course, Big Mama comes in, save the day, you know, being Big Mama. Yeah. Dancing all old, like with Lim. Get it, down, it was get a cute down. moment. As Big Mamas do. As Big Mamas right. do. Right. Yes. Well, no, because I think uh, my big mom would have went out there and beat, and beat that whole day yeah, Mine, too. Definitely. My grandma yeah. don't play no games. But she threw an iron at her, <laughs> at her son. I'm I think sure. I'm the only one here whose grandma was like the like a sweetheart. She's yeah. never cursed. Really? She has never drank alcohol in her life. Like, my grandma's your mom, very... Your grandma is very sweet. She's I've heard such a sweetheart. Uh-huh. And it's like, she's very reserved. If she does speak out about something, it's because she feels very strongly about it. It's not one ounce of Medea in her. My, my grandma, grandma is Medea. It's like that. Yeah, she's Straight Medea. <laughs> my grandma is Medea all day. And our, our grandmother on our mother's side, she's that way, but... She's all. She's where we get our asshole from. Just keeping it completely honest. My <laughs> my entire mother side is all assholes. So it's like quick to tell you, you ain't shit. She's quick to tell you, and we'll, we'll say it as a joke. But she be dead she ass mean, serious. He like, ain't shit. Like she would just <laughs> no, go, no, really, he ain't shit. She, she would just go off on you. Like I remember there was a time where no matter when we came to Cleveland, no matter when, you know, hey Rosalind, hey Juju, and Carlo did it. I'm like, hi, Grandma. I ain't seen you in six years either. It's good to see you. Oh, no no Every time I came, she always had to cuss you me out about she. something. So when y'all hear me cussing on the noise, blame Dorothy Taylor. Yes. <laughs> Got it honestly. <laughs> Did you guys notice that this movie, which I believe clocks in at about uh, hour 54, something like that? Yeah. 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 Close to two. It yeah, flows right. fucking fast. It's probably because we know what's going to happen, obviously. But mm. as far as like, even when you watch it from fresh eyes, the movie does flow it does have rather a fast. Fan. Because I know when uh, Big Mama... Gets the, the the diabetes news. That's well, like, she already knew she had diabetes. That's like seventeen minutes in, I'm like, oh, so we're already going right to the meat. We're, we're gonna clock Big Mama out real quick, you know what I'm saying? And we another hour twenty minutes to go. Cool, but they had her in a coma like the rest of the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But um, you know, she she's the the wise and the, and the caring matriarch of the family. So you know, she represents like, like I said, she represents uh, the the blueprint of a Big Mama. Like, like he said, you can call your grandma. I, I've heard Ebony's grandmother on the phone. I think she had called on the speakerphone. And she, the way she greets Ebony is like, that's a grandma. It's like, she'll be like, hey. Yeah, she'll be like, hey, and you, hi, you, how you are hear you? The, the joy in grandma's oh. voice. Hey, man. And guess, baby, and guess who gets a better hey than me? Malachi. Malachi. Yeah, that's my a baby, course. baby. Like, I go, hi. You just became a baby. for me, too. Hi, Sorry. It's nice to joke around my sound. You lucky you ain't getting tears every time she hear Malachi. Right? Oh, my God. It might happen. Good morning. Now that I live out here, you know, they yeah, we, we, when, you, when you have children and you're in the children, well, question, you give your, your, your parents or your grandparents their first great grandbaby or their first grandbaby. Right. You officially become, you ain't shit. It's you really do. The children. All like, day. like hey, my daughter, hey, Naya, good to see you. Hey, Joe, you good? Okay. I yeah, admit, I have actually done that to him. <laughs> he has called me or FaceTime me. I'm like, hey. And then he'll turn the night like, hey, hey, hey. Like, like, <laughs> well, you fake motherfucker. He's like, oh, I ain't shit. I'm like, no, not right now. <laughs> not, not when the baby's present. No. Yeah. Baby. No, uh, um, I want to double back to uh, the arrival of Faye. And of mm. course, when you is first. Is it Faith? Faith. It's faith. It's faith. Because okay. I had faith like the entire movie to her faith. No, I'm like, faith. Oh. Yeah, I love faith too. Gotcha. I love faith too. 
Why does always ones like Faith and Angel and Precious? They normally be the hoes in the movie. <laughs> right. Because exactly. they were treated so damn special because the of their damn too name. High of hopes. This damn. One thing this I'm is learning, my hope. One my thing I joy. From this movie that cousins just can't come around because between this movie and Players Club, the cousins is bound to fuck up the household. Bound to fuck right. up Players life. Club fucked up Ebony's names. Like I'm not nothing like her. I would mm. never do that. She such was just thing. lost. See, look, Ebony. You see, you, mm-hmm, now I look at you different. <laughs> so out here fucking up, marriage. Faye, much much like um uh uh a light skinned dude, that fucker, Samuel, yellow man. Uh, when he when he shows when he shows up, you just get a vibe like this nigga ain't shit. So when Faye shows up, when the whole table don't say shit, only one who's excited is Big Mama. Oh my and lord! And the Reverend, because he can't wait to put his face in the tickets. <laughs> yeah, he just like ooh, but and the Reverend. <laughs> nasty. When the camera circles around the table, like this bitch got the nerve to come through here. What is she doing? She ain't here? staying with me and the kids. Fuck that. I ain't, I ain't you know, losing no damn CDs because of this bitch. Right. And I don't. We don't have a cousin. That's, a f- That's just scorned by the family. Just scorned <laughs> by the family. But I definitely know somebody who has a cousin that has scorned that family to the T. Like, fuck a husband or two. Mm. That's crazy. That is crazy. But um, He said a husband or two. A husband or two. In, the, in one family? In one family. Wow. Absolutely. Uh, <clears throat> so Faye shows up. She ain't about shit. And we kind of already know that from Jump. But um, at this point... Big Mama falls into a coma because of uh, complications from the surgery. Stroke. She had a stroke. Yeah. She had a stroke. And it's almost like it was the green light for the family to just fall apart. We get to this point where uh, Ahmad, who goes to see Big Mama, and um, uh, at, at this point, Lim, they got into some shit. Everybody's kind of going through really fucked up turmoil, especially Lim, because Lim is simply a man that made a mistake, did his time. And he wants to come home, start a new life for some freshly, no, newly married man. He wants to, you know, do the right thing. And simply by lying on his application, he has to pretty much start all over, start all over again. And and te- once again, I, and I think Terry could be getting this fool award because she pulled some bitch shit too about trying to get the, another cousin that we do, we know wow. nothing about. Another <laughs> cousin we know nothing about to go over there. Cousin and, Blimp. Cousin Blimp. What kind of name is Blimp? A that's criminal, like, a criminal's a name. Nigga. Can he we get to like this a, place a, of why we got Blimp? We're just jumping through the movie. Let's get to the place of why Blimp had to appear. Okay. Yes. Okay. S- sorry. Faith lives with uh with uh, Terry and Miles, right? Which is an immediate why she staying with y'all. Like, I, I, you know, with 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 Maxine being the way she is, you would think, all right, well, you know, you may not like her, but at least. Terry gonna kill a bitch. You know Terry gonna kill that bitch. She got the kids. She ain't one. No, no that is true. Kid. And a newborn. So yeah, you're yeah. right. I'll take it back. So, when uh, after their first fight, Miles goes to do a show. Oh, which by the way, Terry is not going and has pa- has skipped several shows yes. to support her man. But Faith came through. Faith came. Is it Faith? It's Faith. Faith. Faith came Keep through. The Faith. Keep the faith. Jesus. Faith came through, and you can just tell in Michael Beach's eyes. He saw something he wanted. I'm gonna fuck her the whole time, <laughs> even when she was stretching all of that. Mm-hmm. I'm glad I'm, I saw that. Too. Oh, yeah, I, I caught all that because when I, the camera does this thing to where it literally puts the the the, the single shot on that person mm-hmm. to know exactly what he's thinking. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, yeah, they're going to fuck. Mm-hmm. And well, I'm going to hit you with a scene that foreshadowed everything that was going to happen, right? All right. If you um, remember when Bird was, Bird just gave birth. No, Max just gave birth. I'm sorry. Right. And when they do the window shot. And she yes. right next to him. It was Faith. Then it was. Um, Michael Miles. Beach, Miles, it was Faith, Miles, and then you go all the way down to the back, and it was Terry. Like that was almost foreshadowing, and it was almost the exact same setup at the funeral. I, I got to give it up to the uh, to the director and, and how everything was set up because it didn't allow you to establish this connection in their relationship. You you weren't really betting on their relationship because of that. Right. Like from start to finish, they never were eye to eye. So you really didn't bet on it. So that way, when in the end, when you found out they got a divorce, you weren't like, oh, they're not together. <laughs> they weren't together the whole movie. <laughs> Body language. Body exactly. language. Titty bop. So, <laughs> uh, t- <laughs> um, so in between this and 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 before, um, Miles just happens to see uh, Faith outside of the studio arguing with. I'm gonna assume her original piano player, who I thought when I first saw the movie was like was like her drug dealer. I don't know why I thought that because he looked like him. Uh, yeah, obviously he has dreads. Everybody, I didn't know what was going on at first. I was lost. I'm like, is that her pimp? 
or is that her her coke she dealer? She was arguing or? too hard for that to be her pimp. True. You can't talk back to daddy. True. Oh, right. Um, bitch that. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck a titty bob. Titty bob or titty bob. Right. <laughs> like so, the thing's got power. And so uh, the the dude with the dreads, who I guess shall remain nameless, he uh, pretty much threw money out and he walked off. And so he had, so Miles fills in for the uh, for the for the dreaded guy to play. Was it Black Street? <laughs> oh, that was one of my songs. What's the original song? I am manager Tupac. No, before that. DeBarge. DeBarge. A oh. dream. Light skinned people. See, y'all would have got that wrong. Okay, so we get to the uh, audition of Faith, and Faith is doing this whole. I thought the dance was white person, but that's me, though. But <laughs> you can tell she's aiming all of her emotions, all of her things at Miles. Mm-hmm. So by the time you get to the next scene, and they're chilling at. Terry and Miles' house, which is like, why the fuck y'all shouldn't like this? Like, Terry can walk in at any time, and you could be sitting on this couch, and she'd be on that couch. She's like, what the fuck y'all niggas doing? I mean, but she lives with me. I'm just going to ignore her. She can be on the other is. couch. That's fine. Well, like, yeah, well, yeah. yeah that, I, that I, I definitely see. But you just said it as if y'all better not converse till she finds Don't a spot. be in the same room with <laughs> this Y'all better not exchange any kind of conversation. Until she's moving out Friday, you don't say shit to her. You don't say nothing to her. Till you don't even say hi. <laughs> but... Even when, when when Terry comes home with uh with Ahmad and we get that infamous rooftop studio sex scene, even in, even in the living room when they're walking, they're like Miles, where you at? And oh, must be in the studio. Terry's looking around like the fuck she is going on down here? She knows I'm something. I'm seeing two glasses, up two empty glasses of wine and fireplace. Fireplace, fireplace going. is going. Shit is rustled up. What the fuck is going on? Mm. Now, let's touch on the sex scene real quick. Mm. Of course, I, I'm gonna ask you first, Ebony. Yeah, yeah, because... Since you of course and shit. Since you of course and shit. <laughs> okay, so obviously, you know we're going to lead up to this moment, right? To where Miles is going to just be like, he has no, he has terrible Kevin Hart judgment, and he's going <laughs> to he's going to drop the ball, and he's going to, you know, fuck Faith against the wall, right? Mm-hmm. As somebody's already followed this, this, this Terry character up until this point, did mm-hmm. you feel like Terry deserved what she got? Hell no. But at that the same time, that's a stupid question. What, 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 <laughs> you just asked a woman. True. Does she deserve that? If she What's deserved. I it, guess when you know. think about I it, deserve. did she have it coming? Did she have it coming? Hey, okay, you know, what, actually, can can I piggyback off your question, please? Because obviously, I'm fucking up. Would you consider that because of the emotional disconnect between the two? You push me away. Would that be an emotional cheating situation? Yeah, definitely. Because you're supposed to be confiding in your partner of everything. Even if you have feel some type of way, how are you going to fix it if you don't communicate? His partner com- wasn't open to communication. She didn't At have all. time. But he was such a little punk bitch <laughs> to not even talk to her either. Like, you're supposed to be the man, right? He was like, look, I feel some type of way. You're my wife. I need you to support me. He didn't do that. He said, okay. Just take that shit. Uh, he told her we're getting separate bank accounts. Tomorrow. And then she said, uh, well, just tell me next time. And he didn't do nothing he, he about said, it. She said, okay, and walked off. I want to know why she knew the exact dollar amount. That's what I want to know. Because she, that, that's she a, that's paid that, attention to them coins. Because <laughs> clearly Terry pays all the bills. She's like, so, because <laughs> if, if, if he, she knows that there's $31,132 in there, she's checking her coins too. She know what he leaving with in the divorce. That's that you. part. <laughs> that's you. She got them divorce like, papers in you. her desk this at the me. office ready, just in case. <laughs> that's hilarious. So Terry walks up studio <clears throat> and sees uh, Miles doing the deed with mm. uh, ass cheeks out, ass cheeks mm. out, heavy puffing, <gasps> <gasps> and <laughs> it's okay. It's, it's, the scene itself is not to laugh like obviously she's hurt, but. The follow-up scene at this party, Ooh. when shit really does get real, mm. right? And Terry walks in there, and she's it's fuck everybody at this point, right? Yep. So by the time they all meet in in the uh, in the kitchen, uh, Kenny's already seen uh, Kenny, yeah, Kenny's already seen her uh, crying and shit. And then she even slips in like, "If me, and you would have just got married." She tried to do that, like, "Oh, what if?" type of thing, like, yeah. She tried it. 
You, yeah. you had 17 years of what it. Why are you going to do it now? Because your man slept with the cousin. I think she always oh, yeah, had yeah. that. I kind of wondered if that was what she was thinking when she was looking at that newborn in the, the window. Because she kind of had a gazing, family. longing mm-hmm. look in her face. Like, mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. could have been my baby. You know? So maybe she's always had this underlying thought of, hey, this this should have been my husband. I always thought like that. That was, that was one of the real reasons after. why her and Maxine are, are always beefing. Because yeah, she, she never she, man. she can never let go of the fact that she took her man. Well, Big Mama said they always been like that even before that. True. That, is that true. was just like the apex. That was the... This is where shit's going down. I drank the I fishes it. last night. Uh, who's mom? I, I'm nobody's grandma said that. I've never even heard that. that I've quote. heard of it. I've before. heard the term. Yeah, I've, yeah. Heard, I've heard that before. I've just never my in my family. My grandma dreamed the fishes. She did. Was somebody actually bring it? I don't know about that much, but it's mm. a southern superstition. Yeah, mm. yeah. It is. I dreamt the fishes last night. I mean, somebody's coming or somebody pregnant. Yeah. Oh, Tennessee must not count because grandma, you, you're getting fat. You pregnant? <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> that was her fishes every time. <laughs> like, oh, you gained yeah. away. You pregnant? Um, eating all that goddamn food. Stay away from the cheese. She was eating fishes. Huh? Like, exactly. <laughs> like, damn, grandma, I just been eating a lot. Damn. Turns so, out you've been raw, dog. <laughs> 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 I'm, Casey, this, this is going to you because I feel like this relates to you perfectly, especially uh, with your, your silent killer thing you do. Um, so when the shit hits the fan and Terry goes on his tangent about after the, the fuck the family. Fuck the family. I, I, I let the family in my house. You know what the family did? The family fucked fuck my, my husband. husband. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Faye fucked fuck my, my husband. husband. <laughs> <laughs> Maxine goes, Miles. <laughs> Why did you? Like Terry and Kenny was like, you? You did that? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you did that shit? Whatever he did, he did that shit. How was it, man? How was Miles it? goes, that's uh, what he wanted to ask. Like, I know he she, did. Like, she had some fine. <laughs> <laughs> he was going to get cut. Like, I, I, I thought, she, boy, what, was it good? It had to be good. But he te- see, if this has been any time soon, you text him on a low like, "Hey, you got pictures?" <laughs> <laughs> no, it was too quick. Oh no! But but uh, when he tries to explain himself, then she goes, uh, "Terry, what? Keep talking. Keep talking about what? Fuck you!" And immediately goes for the knife. Yes. What you want to talk about? <laughs> um, I want to get your your opinion on that one. Let's say you were a spectator at that party. And all of a sudden, motherfuckers are gearing out the kitchen because the motherfucker's coming out with a knife. And she's waving that bitch because when she sees Faith, she immediately stops chasing Miles and goes after Faith. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. She beeline to Faith. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she beeline to Faith. She's my bitch! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Low key, low key, Faith almost lost her life that night because the way she turned to Faith. So if you were there, you would say, no, no, sorry, cut that bitch! Cut that hoe! Yeah, but that Let lets you know on. Faith has a story to tell because her reaction time was perfect. She was like, oh shit! <laughs> she got out. Nah, I think I, I still get that to Miles because Miles was out the door quickly. Like, nah, see, Miles, that. Miles, he was on the other side of the island, so he yeah. had time for uh, to get out there. Uh, that was a two second head start for her to like, yeah. get around the actual island. Faith saw the knife and immediately went for the window. <laughs> she knew. <laughs> Faith got a story. We see we, we being too hard on Faith. She's a battered that's woman. That, that's that club lifestyle. You Somebody know? that came at her with a knife before. <laughs> Oh yeah, and she knew exactly how to die. But well, they said she was up the in the streets in, in California yeah. doing the work, so she probably got used to that. See, in the Miles was spoon fed. Miles waited around too long. He should have saw the fire in her eyes, like she gonna kill me. He oh, bro, he kept this in the whole party until she tripped on him. Because every time we seen a a, a, a close up shot of Terry looking at Miles, Miles is at least. 20 feet away and she was sulking and we're and we're not locking eyes <laughs> he was like that little boy in that meme in the yellow shirt like oh, looking yeah, exactly. at me. <laughs> <laughs> like uh she looking at me like, she looking at me but like, she, she could, looks could, extremely she upset at me right now <laughs> so uh, all right so you cutting her off rip so you? if you're at the party as a spectator you're like cut that bitch if you know obviously if you watch that play out you kind of know what's going on if you, if you see your cousin yeah. going after her husband with a knife and then beeline toward another bitch like okay so you obviously fucked that bitch clearly mm. So, give me your opinion about if you were Terry. Would you essentially go for the knife first? Or we're going to yell for a little bit and then I may go for the knife. I'm going to probably cut you. Right. Mm. I'm going right. to cut you. Cut first, ask questions later. Gotcha. If you're able to answer Ooh. afterwards. Mm. What you cutting? I'm cutting Ever- Lorena Bobbitt's. Mm. I'm cutting her. And then she can eat it and sew it in her mouth. She can have wow. it. This is then you see it. why we this. said we don't want to be at the receiving end <laughs> don't you of know this KC little firecracker. Story, apparently. <laughs> Thought about this before. <sighs> <laughs> Los, um, after this scene, we, we get to the scene when um, uh, Bird calls an affair with a good old light skin to uh, get him a job. 
Oh, we're backtracking <laughs> really right now. We're back. This is, this is, oh, this happened after? Oh, you're right. This it did happen after. after. Right, okay. So we, uh, she, uh, she calls up uh, Light Skin Dude, comes over to uh, the uh, beauty salon. And I hated this part because you didn't quite know what, he, what she was saying to him in his ear because the music cuts up. But it's a sexy song, so you think she's saying some sexy shit, right? And he's just licking his lips and shit like, bruh, bruh, you fucked up for that shit, right? But on, <laughs> on, for you, if you were going through what Lim was going through and your girl, your, fuck that, your newly just said I do wife calls upon her ex, pimp, ex, whatever the fuck he is to her, and gets and has him get you a job on the low. How are you feeling about that? Especially when it comes to your job, to pretty much brag about it. I got you a job, and I know your girl. I used to call her Coca Cola. Man, you got Cola because she got that body like a Coke bottle. Yeah, I would have immediately. immediately. <laughs> so, give me your opinion about how Lim played that out once it was pretty much revealed that he knew Bird. He knew Bird for personal reasons. I would have handled it differently just because of the job, right? I would have been like, he oh, works okay. in HR. No, no, you guys see, you see him all the time. No, no, no. Start, start me out. Because okay. then I can also <laughs> say, you know, I don't know what he's talking about. He got jumped. I was like, yeah, man, I'm going to walk with you to your car. And once we got back to the car, it's over. Light skin can beat the fuck up. <laughs> ah, yes. Uh, as far as how he handled it with Bird, I, I wouldn't have done that because, I mean, I'm pretty sure that that door was mad expensive. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got Blimp coming out. And honestly, Blimp would have had to get fucked up too, because I'm already in a real bad place. Like, damn, this job I had this whole time is because of this nigga, and he won't come to me about mine. Yeah. Like, I, listen, Blimp would have got the. Blimp was a big dude. He got the, the first shot would have been a nut shot. First of all, nigga, you remember uh, you remember um, Dumb and Dumber? Mm. You remember how when my man ran into the room and and, uh, and during Jim Carrey's dream, and he started giving them multiple shots to the nuts. That's how I got to go after Blimp. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm like, you're not about to just whoop my ass for what your cousin did. And then and then Blimp, he didn't really say too much to really get him riled up. Like 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 when he ordered all all the beers or whatever for him and his boys. Like, Who's paying for this? He's paying for this. <laughs> nigga, excuse me. I don't fucking know you. I don't know none of you cornball ass niggas. Right? And then Lem by himself beats up all three of them and still pulls the heat on Blim, who all of a sudden does not want the smoke. But almost like immediately on time is the police. And, you know, in all typical black movies where like, you know, a character who's a, a jail prone always has that scene where he's walking out Slow motion. He just head look, down. Head down. Shameful. Locks out of somebody's family better. like, fuck, yeah, I, I fucked up. I fucked up. Right. But uh, <laughs> but um, so a, a good portion of the movie, Lim is pretty much locked up, waiting to do whatever time he's going to do. And then you know Terry is so scorned by everything at this point. You know mm-hmm. um, they meet up to talk. Cause no matter what, Terry and Maxine has always had friction. Like they, they almost fought over Big Mama's body. Well, she was alive at the time, but they almost fought over over Big Mama at the hospital, right? And we and we learn that Terry is going to sell the house, or so she's trying to sell the house, mm-hmm. right? And it was Big Mama's house. No, I'm sorry, Big Mama Joe's house. I'm getting the two movies confused. <laughs> but, but I feel like in these movies, to where the big house is always, you know, uh, uh, meet with a threat to go up for sale. I feel like it'd be great if we can get a movie to where they actually sell the house and get the after reaction to that. You can't have that in a family movie. You guys ask to end all sappy and shit. There's no nice way to end a 40 year house just go. <laughs> they sold the house. Oh, all right. Like, I'm not happy that they live in an apartment now. <laughs> like we didn't. <laughs> we, we oh. didn't. We didn't touch on Uncle Pete. I find it funny that even when Bird tried to like cook her own Sunday dinner for her and Lim. And <laughs> did you see that burnt cornbread though? Oh, I right. caught that right. <laughs> Uncle Pete did. That's pet. Uh, for sure. That <laughs> wasn't well, Uncle Pete. That was uh, that was Rev. No, Uncle Pete no, pushed no, no, him no. out the door. She, Bird brought him a plate, and he oh that oh, part right. He, right, he, right, he, right, he right, came right. it in, and two seconds later he came that shit right <laughs> on back up. I got dementia, no, but good. I ain't that damn. Lim. <laughs> I know a good fool. Like, no, I'm good. Uh, I remember I'm what I might not remember anything else, right. but I it remember right. what good food tastes like. I know what Joe used to cook. I don't know what that shit is. That's Alpo right there. I don't even want that. That's hilarious. But that cornbread looked like these mics. That shit was wild. Lion. Amon comes up with this concept. To bring the family back together, can at this point Big Mama has died off, and I feel like her Good died off. Well, damn. Not died. I'm sorry, she, <laughs> she has not passed on. But Thank even you. even her death scene, it hurts because she got very little energy to tell Amal what she wants to tell him, mm. and as she's getting ready to tell him what she wants to tell him, 
here comes the coffin, right? And of course, the next scene is the funeral. So Ahmad comes up with this plan to get the people, get the family back together, based off of this myth that uncle that there's a hidden stash of money somewhere in the house. Right. Here's my thing: if your mom had a hidden, if you if you heard a rumor that your mom had a thousand dollar stash somewhere in the house, would you not be like, so how come I don't know about this hidden stash of money? Millions. A thousand? A thousand? It doesn't sound like a lot right, that I'd be trying thousands. to search the house for. If you look at the way that Amaya got the family there, he used the money, so maybe she knew that they was all money hungry ass. People. And he was a smart. They ass all pulled up for the money for that. They all pulled up for the money, and Michael Beach the only one like I'm gonna be out because obviously ain't no money. <laughs> it's just Sunday dinner. I ain't hungry. I stopped on the way. I mean, and, and I feel like everybody has a, has people in their family that you know they beef when they beef they beef hard. Right. So it's like. You know, if you're pulling up, you know, to get this, you know, mystery box of money, and then, uh, you know, you pull up, and then you see your two sisters, one who you just got into this crazy fight with not too long ago, and they're up in there cooking Sunday dinner, and uh, no, I'm gonna join y'all, you know, fuck it. Nah, I, I know some sisters like, no, fuck that bitch, I'm about to go home. I would have known pulling up to the crib. I'm like, nope, that's Terry's car, <laughs> I'm going home. <laughs> and so, so when Miles shows up, he's like, hey, uh, what's going on? Like, cook Sunday dinner. The fuck happened to the, to the money, man? Well, that's why I came. He's at three o'clock. And shame on them for not really picking up on the actual idea of what he was trying to do. Sunday at three o'clock is a very convenient time to look for this money. Right. Duh. Time, duh. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember. Well, correction. When I first seen the movie, I didn't. I didn't even think about it. But when Faith shows up to the house, thinking like, well, let's go on this money hunt, and. I think in real life, Faith wasn't sticking around. Like, like you said, they seen the car outside and just kept on going. Or I don't know if Faith took a taxi or some shit. But Y'all about to say, who brought Faith? She kind of just pulled up. Wouldn't you know that something was going on with all the cars outside? Right. I'd be like, actually, bro, here another 20. Go ahead back to the crib. Like, <laughs> nope. Nope. Let's go ahead, this Yui. <laughs> but uh, the plan worked. And I feel like my daughter would, would probably conspire a plan like that. Yeah, I see her doing. That's smart. Yeah, I feel like she would so like so. Listen, um, Sunday dinner at grandma's house. Like, nah, I'm not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I see so who <laughs> let this be for so when I I don't, don't want to stop. But so they they successfully cooked the food except for the greens because the greens look nasty, and <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they managed to get to you know the actual Sunday dinner. Of course, the reverend's there. I have a problem with this reverend being at all the Sunday dinners. He was there for them beautiful breasts and thighs. I mean, on top uh, under, 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 on the table. On top of the table. table. Bless this bread. You know who Bless this there? That uncle that wanted them $2. Probably got tired of them not giving them $2. Man, fuck this family. Y'all, y'all can't run me $2. Y'all all broke. Reminds me of an episode of <laughs> South Park. <There's> a, <laughs> that guy was like, I just want tree fitting. Tree fitting. <laughs> 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 but the reverend's there, and he's the only one that's really like, you know, going there on the food like he normally does. Um... But the tension is still so strong at the table. They basically uh, confront the uh, Miles Terry situation at the table. And uh, Terry, like, you know, I didn't do enough for you. And, you know, Miles, like you said, bitch, you don't really want to talk about nothing right now. So he says, one thing, good luck with Mother Joe's money. Now everybody's like, what money? What the fuck you talking about? Ahmad. Ahmad. <laughs> Y'all didn't pick up on this yet? Like yet, and Ahmad did the shit that Big Mama told him not to do. He gonna burn the house down. Um, put the towel on the stove. So as he's coming outside to give his speech, it's not my fault. It's all yours fault. Y'all broke up the family. <laughs> no, see, that's the thing. <laughs> Ahmad, Ahmad's reaction wasn't the true black kid reaction because as soon as he said y'all be with money, because we'd have heard what money. So Ahmad and I, if I was Ahmad, I'd be like, oh shit, they talking about I'm it. So as soon as you heard up. Ahmad, you, you wouldn't have came for you to. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta let that anger simmer down. And then that. they would be like, <laughs> "Don't say, huh? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Come out here. Nah, nah, okay. You gotta, you gotta, no, you know what we were really missing that from hunt. that that yell from the parents? What? The whole name. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, that yeah. was missing. A mind goes into <laughs> his, uh, his 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 uh, monologue about how it's not his fault; it's your fault, right? Mm-hmm. You know, I, big mom want me get everybody together for the dinner. I had no way to do it. Y'all were being bitches, so I had to make up something. And then the mom should have said that. <laughs> Y'all were being some bitches, for real, for real. So, so it comes back to the to, to the adults of the, of the situation. And they're all like, "Damn, he's right. We have been fucking up." And literally, we all come back together because one person smells an awkward smell coming from the kitchen. Something burning. 
Like some limb ass fucking uh, like, like some scruff McGruff. Smell like it come from the kitchen. <laughs> really? Where else would it be coming really? from? Really? Fucking Basset Hound? Basset <laughs> no. Could have been Uncle Pete Rule with all that money in his TV. But but, but then it makes you That's wonder. Fire if they're already out there eating dinner, what is still on the burner still being cooked? Why is the stove on? Well, sometimes they put it on stuff on low. Because so. when they warming up the peas. They was eating. I just know he went to go she, get some more yeah, peas. Yeah, she told him to go get some more peas and take his sister. Oh, uh, gotcha. Okay. So they go through there, and of course, the whole kitchen's on fire. And it was like a blaze. Like, that, it wasn't even. It rose to a blaze like, rather quickly. You see well. how it got so big, and it was like this. <laughs> and like, know, this whole sound. When Kenny effect. saw it, Kenny was like, whoa! <laughs> That house is on fire, obviously. Clearly. <laughs> Terry was like, the house. The house. She was, was most like, chill. Oh, now you care about the house now? But what trips me out is that as they're, trying, as they're fighting the blaze, right, they're aware of a fire extinguisher in the house. Why haven't you gone to get this shit the first five seconds the, the fire was going off? Because they made they black smart. men they shitless in this. They made us cavemen in this fucking We're movie. fucking Did fighting the flame with a towel. Lim, Lim got, Lim the, through water Lim got a cereal bowl, the biggest cereal bowl. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm going to fix this. And dash that little half bit of water. Now it's three niggas with towels trying to beat the oh. fire. They're like, you know what? Let's use this fire extinguisher that's in plain sight. Oh, yeah, we have this. <laughs> Did you get the person out. who wanted the house gone to save the house? That's probably what the director wanted. Like, let's let, let tear do. I mean, you know. She was trying to say that property value. Yeah, exactly. You can't sell, you can't She's like, I can't sell a house now. She's smart. Right. right. It's, it's hard to sell a big ass burn stain. <laughs> this, don't worry about what happened over here. Not Look at this shit here. It's like insecure. It was like the burn in the ceiling is there. And so um, the movie kind of wraps up, just kind of just just wraps up. Because once uh, they, they, they put the, the flames out, you kind of expect it to happen. Because Terry, I'm um, sorry, not Terry, uh, Max, you know, I had already set up that we have a big surprise for y'all. Guess who's coming out of his room? <laughs> and so. And Uncle Pete really don't remember any of them. He don't know none of them. He thought Max was Joe. Yeah. So he comes through there with a TV that drops because he gets extinguished by Kenny for whatever reason. Why, why, what, what was scary? Flame can't, fire can't bust through a door on some surprise type shit. I mean, it could, but. It was Lucifer. You was seeing it coming. It was backdraft and big. <laughs> so, Joe's house. So, so uh, Uncle Pete comes through there with a obviously old ass Hibachi TV and drops it and all a shitload of money's inside of it. I've always thought until I watched it today, I'm like, if he was watching TV the whole time, how is he watching TV with all the money inside of it? Right. But then you, th- you think about it. The tube. Not the tube, but how many times have you gone to an older person's home? Somebody's grandma's home, and you have the little, the, the big TV at the bottom, and the little TV up top, and only the little TV actually works. So you said the big TV was the stand. I think the big TV was the uh, the, the 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 holding place for this money. I'm not gonna lie; as much thought as they put into the movie, I wish they had introduced the money a different way because we just saw Uncle Pete with a cane. Now you're telling me this old he ass nigga bringing TV. out his whole ass He's TV so smart. that's already big like a normal <laughs> TV that also has. Thousands, potentially millions of dollars in it. Like, fuck you. Uncle Pete ain't bring that shit down. Now you're playing with emotions. Right. <laughs> so, the movie pretty much wraps up with um, uh, my letting us know that, yes, Terry and Miles have now divorced. Uh, that don't stop Miles coming up against some of mama's good old soul food. Like, nigga, you're not part of the family anymore. You should really be <laughs> doing you your You ain't got thing. no friends or family? You know, Why you, know, you gotta know, come over here? He be the one dude with the bologna sandwich at the table. Every time. Come to <laughs> <your favorite laughs> bologna. Table. I mean, I'm, I'm single now, He's so single, right. get this dick again legally. Uh, I feel like he probably was still smacking faith on the side. That's the only reason he was there. Like yeah. since we That's single, why he came. Yeah, yeah all day. Yeah. Because Boris Kojo will eventually show up as Terry's new man. So that was her hashtag D challenge right there, right? Yeah, faith. Yeah, word. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, Terry and Miles they get the uh, the divorce. Uh, Kenny and Maxine, they're doing good with the baby. Terry and Maxine are like working on a relationship at that time. But he said for now. For now. <laughs> this is gonna be till they fucking die. But I feel like it ended in probably the most cliched way that this movie of this caliber can actually wrap up. Unless, you know, Lim gets shot or some crazy shit. That's about as cookie cutter as it can be to wrap a movie like this up. Yeah, that's cliche. Somebody gotta go. I guess I was big mom in this situation. Thanks. Big Mama, and then you cue the boys and men music Boom. that I played at the beginning as well. Yes. So I actually had the soul food soundtrack on tape. That was a good. So, yeah. Like you know, and this around the time when like movies like these had like on tape dope ass soundtrack. Yes. Like, and you I, I know what was soundtrack. dope about the uh, soul food VHS? It came with a cookbook. It came right with a here. fucking cookbook. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> 
and shout shout out to them because my mom always made uh, Sprite pound the cake. Sprite pound cake. Really? Yes. All the time. Thank oh, you, my soul grandma food makes seven up cake all the time. Thank you, Soul Food Cookbook. I grew up on that. So before we get to uh, our takeaways, um, could a movie or I, I don't want to say could it be remade today? They're, 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 they're being remade every fucking year. About it is the, like it's the era year. of the remakes right now. But you think will they tackle the black family as we know the black family of 2017? It's gonna be ratchet. But you think they'll take the the chance to do it? Happens every year. <laughs> There's oh, no because I think black so. family because movies. Tyler Perry when he does his family drama oh, shit. My God. It's pretty much it's, you know where it's going. You got the crackhead aunt who wants to sing, but you know she's, she she does crack, and then you got the, the, the abusive that stops that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the yeah the abusive woman. She's getting you know the, the, her man ain't shit. You got the other dude who has terrible cornrows, but he's gonna save the day. And he just hella tried Shamar Moore. <laughs> that was the worst okay. hair piece. Let's just get of this out all the way. fucking time. Shamar Moore and that motherfucker. Like, bro, why don't you just wear your, your natural hair? Just be dirty as a mechanic. Uh, like that hair piece. Like, <laughs> nigga, brace was never done. Not like, one bit. It was horrible. He had Velcro for the whole movie as like braids. I'm like, bro, <laughs> nah, bro. I'm cool on this. Uh, <laughs> so now watching it 20 years later, how does the movie hold up for you, Casey? I think I appreciate it more, you right. know. Um, like I said, when I was younger, it was cool to watch. It was entertainment. It was drama. It was funny. Now it has being older and seeing family dynamic and all of that in my own life. Right. I, I love it. I appreciate it. It's definitely a black family. It goes through everything that you go through with a family, the drama, sleeping around, scandals, all of that. I had an uncle, I think, that slept with a cousin. <clears throat> mm. <laughs> But I mean, I I love it. I think I'm gonna have to put it back on replay. Not 20 years later. I'll see you probably play it again. Like I think it's been like maybe 10 years. It's been I've legit it. seven eight years for me. For yeah. sure, it's the last time I seen this movie. But I like it. I'm gonna have to put it back into the classics. Low, same question. Well, I haven't seen it since we got the VHS in '98. So and the cookbook. <laughs> so uh, yeah, revisiting it. It was it was cool. I enjoyed it. I don't think. It can necessarily be remade now just because of how much the perception of the black family has changed. Cause, cause we got to be so PC now. Like, we got to be super PC. You got to make sure everybody's represented correctly. You got to make sure. Like, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of different aspects to what the quote black family is. Because, like, gotta stop being so sensitive. Exactly. It is a lot of sensitivity. Exactly. Going on. It's mass sensitivity. Like, so now if this person's represented a certain way, okay, so why did the cousin that cheat? Why why couldn't he be gay? You know, it's going to be all this other shit. Or you know why the saying? gay one had to cheat. Or why the gay one had to cheat, exactly. Right. So it's too it's too much sensitivity in the world right now for something like this to get remade. It has to stick with the, the, the regular formula. The nigga ain't shit, and this person's broke. Like, that's the only way <laughs> to have. And it's somewhere in between. There's a guy where somewhere in between. somebody getting married. It's going to be Cicely Tyson as Big Mama. Yep, yep. And She's yeah, too but, skinny to be Big Mama. They're gonna find a way. But that's grandma for sure though. That's definitely grandma. They're gonna change they're gonna change <laughs> she, the everybody grandma. That's all grandma Mary Joe, Joe, Joe. And, and cause, cause her monologues be taken back to slave time. Like, on yes. this land. <laughs> our ancestors like yeah, like My this. Ancestors, I want some cornbread. That's all I wanted some cornbread. Uh, tell you the story how cornbread was invented. <laughs> I said, Grandma, you good, man? Like for real. It was never just Jif. <laughs> Ebony, <laughs> Ebony, same question. I mean, my family's always really small. It was the me, my dad, my grandma, my mom, my sister, and now Malachi. So all my family is either down south or in another on another continent. But I mean, as you get older, you kind of see like it's a hell of a range, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> not another state, so far. another continent. That's a long yeah, flight. Yeah, it's long. I think it's like eighteen hours to Nigeria. <sighs> Shit. <laughs> yeah. Shit. I mean, yeah. I going to Ohio from a little fuck ass three hours. Like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> on spirit too. Like shit. Oh, <laughs> see, we don't fuck Never spirit. fly spirit. Never oh, fly spirit. That hurts. Tip. I'm sorry. Continue. <laughs> But I mean, you, you kind of, I guess I can say I, I will want that later on, mm-hmm. like family dynamic. I'm like, I want it, but I'm scared of it too, because I'm kind of like, to myself, I like to be like, all right. Yeah. I don't have people just waltzing in my house on Sunday. They're like, how the fuck did you get in my house? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Faith, are how did you get, you didn't ring the doorbell? And why you ain't telling me you was coming? We don't just do pop-ups We don't do pop-ups, you know. <laughs> That's another questionable scene. Faith ain't been around in a minute. How'd she get a key to Big Mama's house? Uh, she didn't. Like, oh, the door was unlocked. It was, it was unlocked. She just walked in. And there. then I'll say, who, uh, who left my door unlocked? Right, they live in Chicago, right. and they black, so realistically, it's the south side. Why your door unlocked? Who left my goddamn door unlocked? <laughs> 
See that would that? be the first question, but I, I, I digress. <laughs> but I'm just saying I would want, I, I've never really had like a f- big like cousins, aunts, you know, uncles or, or right. stuff like that. So it would be nice to have like a family like that. But um, I mean, that's kind of what I took away. But like I said, my grandmother, hands down, mm. my my person. Shout out to all the grandmas, all the grandmothers out there. Yes. We love y'all. We appreciate you while you're here. Even when you beat our ass. It's a lesson. We learned. still Trust love you. Whipping oh, boards good. off the wall. And I stuff. appreciate Extension that. Shit. I'm sorry. When you get an iron thrown at you, you better straighten up. <laughs> like, you know, you literally like, straighten I'm gonna stop up. up. <laughs> <laughs> I never was the guy any of that. I just got the whoopers in the church bathroom because I had a low attitude. But that's mm. as far as away. Yeah, I remember that. And then everybody yeah. watch you as you go down the aisle. What? We just got we got pinched. Oh, so, Grandma, uh, moms had like the meanest fucking pinch. Her church. pinches were like uh-huh. the devil himself. Pinched. I would look I'm at like, you like oh, God is watching you right now. <laughs> Jesus breaking is right skin. there. You're breaking skin. Stop. This shit Jesus hurts. is right there looking at you. <laughs> All right. I hate them pinches. Oh my god. Hilarious. Lose, give me that guy award, man. Ah, uh, that guy. they all fucking sucked in the movie, but uh, I gotta give it to Lim. Okay, I give it to Lim. Uh, that chick award. Max. Oh wait, I gotta explain why I give it to them too, huh? If you want to, I mean, it's um, objective. I, I fuck with Lim. <laughs> <laughs> that is a simple little nigga. I fuck with him. I, I, I relate. Cool. I relate to Lim. Yeah, uh, I will say bro. that. Um, <laughs> Max, you could tell she was the like she was she was the middle child, and that was actually the first time you seen the representation. Of the middle child being the key child, because normally right. the middle child right. is, is yeah, the yeah, one right. they don't want to get like the scraps; they get leftovers when right. niggas leave the leave the table. So, as the middle child, she was the glue. She was the next big mama in line mm-hmm. of the family. So, Max is definitely my that chick. Uh, this full of work. Uh, I'm have to go with uh, light skinned Dreyfus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> he He's definitely in there for this. He one. definitely deserved uh, that ass beat um, <laughs> through and through, through and through, all the way. Uh, what are you cutting out? I would have cut out some of the beef. I don't know which one it would have been, but some of the beef between Max and Terry. Only because I felt like some of the arguing they were doing, they were milking it. Like, I damn near expected the director to come out. Do you get it? They hate each other. <laughs> and they go back behind the chair. I would. I some, went to college. Some, yeah, something. You got pregnant and dropped out. Something like, would have got cut out. Like, y'all have kept that just for context of why Terry feel like she's better than everybody, but then she has the worst luck with men. So, like, you get it, but it's like something could have been. Something when they were cut. arguing over her comatose body, yeah, see that, that would have been like, you get on my fucking. It's like, mama's. But that's how it be. That's, that's that how it be. That's and they got shit. kicked out the hospital. The that's real is life. So shit. live right now because. You're blam- you're, everybody's blaming each other for why Big Mama's in this situation. But and on top of that, just to kind of cut away from that for a second, Big Mama died because of high blood pressure and diabetes, right? Why are you still cooking the same shit that just killed off Big Mama? It's on, maybe it's only on Sundays they eat it. I don't eat soul food <laughs> like that, though. Uh, and, okay. Los, what's your uh, iconic scene? Iconic scene to me was when Lim was giving Bird that work in the bathroom. <laughs> I think we've all been in something before. She's just so good. Like, like so good. Uh, no, no, for, but for real. Um, I would say the first actual soul food meal in the movie, mm-hmm. like in the beginning, I would say that's iconic because it establishes the dynamic of the family, like right, right. then and there. Mm-hmm. And it, may, it helps you understand immediately that Big Mama was the glue. Right. And as soon as the glue left, Everything, oh, fell everything apart. went to hell. <clears throat> so that's probably like the iconic scene. Ebony, technically the second, the second Sunday dinner wasn't even that successful. No. <laughs> it seemed rushed. It seemed really rushed. But I know that the first meal, was like that, was good as shit. And they had like, like Thanksgiving style meals. So we're like, damn. That's why I keep saying Thanksgiving mm-hmm. instead of Sunday dinner. Um, Ebony, who's getting your that guy award? That guy. I would say Uncle Pete because he finally got that money like out in the open. And you see how quick they just turned to love. Oh, we got money now. I love you, man. Uh, yeah, no, I would love anybody. They else. still fuck Miles. We're not gonna just gloss over that, right? What if like they're in like the zoom out? So we gonna talk about this Miles fucking faith thing? <laughs> <laughs> because you know, I'm out in the background. It's yeah, T- Terry never got past that. Like, so <laughs> but the thing about it is like if you look at the scene or the same scene when the money's flying all over the place. You see Miles and Terry like laughing. Look, this is great. Like, nah, 
I just fucked your cousin a couple days ago. Terry thinking I'm, I'm like getting you. all my money back that I spent That's on this family. That's it in. So you forgive me or not? <laughs> <laughs> so we could? Somewhere along the line of the laughter and happiness. <laughs> Who's going to hear that chick award? That chick will probably be... Bird. I think it's going to be Bird because she got that work in the bathroom. <laughs> And then she had her friends. Remember when Lynn was at home when he wasn't supposed to? And she's like, stop looking at my dick. Like, and the gay dude had this really weird nervous tick. Yeah, Lynn. I saw that. What's oh, wrong with him? <laughs> like, okay. Uh, this full award. Uh, it go to Miles. Like, you knew yes. that was just. Yes. Don't go there. Mm. Like you knew. And then the whole time it's like, hey, cousin. She called him cousin at least. You did two to so three times. Well, cousin. Cousin. Help me out, cuz. It's called the milestones, not them. Cousin. And he's like, I'ma beat my cousin's cheeks. Like it's nasty. <laughs> But you know how many hey brothers I done took down them? <laughs> but that's what they be. They be hey brothers, bro. cousins. Uh, yeah. That's that's the yep. cousins, brothers and sisters. Fucking. Uh cut that out. Um, I mean, like you said earlier, it kind of flows pretty well. It's kind of hard to pick an area to like cut out specifically, but I would say the the whole dance routine, her audition wasn't really necessary because you already knew they were gonna fuck before then. Yeah, so the, 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 the sexual tension was already there. Yeah, you already know it was gonna happen, so and I would cut that out. What about your iconic scene? No, not right now. Um, iconic scene is ha- would have to be. Jeez, I didn't really think about this. I'm stuff gonna just before. need you to get out my head because you're taking all my stuff. That's good. <laughs> Give me all those stupid questions. So payback. <laughs> Who was the fourth guest at the wedding? Like, what? I don't know. <laughs> I kind of see. I guess. I guess that would be the wedding when Big Mama came in and kind of like. Just, just kind of smooth things over. Okay. Exactly yours, I'm not right? doing like everything. I quit. Really kind of made. You got my guy. Like I go don't, back to <laughs> the a happy, loving time. Like okay, let's bring the attention back to where it was family right. and this new thing. What so is, is KC? Uh, ditto. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> what she said? Yeah, what pretty she said. much. Yeah, <laughs> like did we? Are we in the same body? Did we watch this movie? We did watch part of it. I'm together. about to say, technically, y'all caught it. We on did me. watch part of it together. But <laughs> yeah. damn, really? All my stuff? Okay, maybe. So okay. guy, chick, full cut, iconic. All guy, yours. <laughs> that guy. I'll give it to the Reverend. Hey, why? Because he's just a pervert, and it's so hilarious. And he got us. He got, he got his meal, no matter what he ate. Uh, he was eating something. He even ate that burnt ass corn. I don't know if he ate that cornbread. She passed it to him. No, nah, that was the one time in the movie where like, did not look, he did not he look satisfied. Like, <laughs> look here, man. You sure you want to eat this? Like, Maybe they come in with some more stuff. So come with some like, Popeyes. This some bread. Choices. This is a burnt ass chicken. I don't even want this. Yo, mm-hmm. Burnt cornbread is probably one of the worst tasting things. You ever had just burnt cornbread before? Like, you just had to eat it just no. out of being nice. He's like, you know what? I can't even be that nice. No, <laughs> I only really had my grandma's, so I didn't it's really no have to. It's yellow. It's more like a like a like a. No. Dark brownish color. No, it it tries black. to pass off as chocolate cake, but it ain't. Imagine Ooh, going wow. into it like it is chocolate cake. And your whole your whole, your palate is ready I will for be, chocolate cake, and you get burnt. I will be upset. Why? Who made this shit? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all Why is black it out for consumption? Cakes because it's that dark. That was pretty dark. Mm. I ain't seen a chocolate cake that black. Um, you're that chick award. Are you agreeing with Ebony? Is it going to? No. Okay, so it's a little different. That chick would go to Big Mama. Oh, thank you. Big yeah, mama. yeah. That's you know, obvious. We gotta okay. show some love to our grandmothers. My grandmother is everything, and I like the dynamic she played in the movie. You know, even without being there, even though she was, her spirit was very much alive. Big Mama Ter- always exactly, said exactly. Her spirit was everything throughout the movie. It kept the family going, and you could tell the difference when she wasn't there, but she was still present. You know, mm. um, that fool, that fool. This, fool, this one sitting next to me. No, <laughs> seriously. Um, I would Kool-Aid. give it to. <laughs> <laughs> I would do Miles. It's a toss up between Miles and Mac. What is it? I was gonna call him Maxwell. Sam. Samuel. Samuel. 
Because they both just did too much. Like, Miles, you knew better. You already knew that the sister had already fucked the brother and the other boyfriend and married him. And then you just go do the same. You, she, he knew the history. So is Terry the problem? That we're just... <laughs> that What's we're the just, other we're just, over to just finding, like, you know what? You get on my fucking nerves, but your cousin... Your cousin okay. She fine. <laughs> Like she fine and she with the shit. She with this wall fuck. I think she understood his passion is what it was, though. They had that same artistic passion. Like, if you really passion. look at it, you, we saw uh, Bird get it on the bathroom sink. We saw Max get it in the car. Terry the only said, did he one to one giving she up the petty draws? And then uh, uh, Faith got it on the wall. She was too busy getting Terry's the degree, the Los. Terry's the problem. She was too busy getting a degree. She, she let you know. with them draws. Shit. Miles was it probably because he was such a simp. Like that's my issue. I mean, and that's that also too. why he a fool. What, are you cutting? <laughs> are you cutting anything up? What can you cut? I was thinking like the the, the dancing, but that's kind of that kind of led to the climax to where that was he probably finally, the climax. Yeah, that's when he got his bones off, pretty much. Like that was it. I can't take it no more. Drop that shit. He was ready when she was stretching, though. Honestly, um, I don't know. Like I think it's all. Pretty much vital to the movie. You can't cut anything. And your iconic scene. You heard my iconic scene. Miss this one stole it. I, I need to go first next time. Gotcha. Oh. <laughs> Whenever that will be. For me, my that guy award uh, is gonna go. It's gonna go to Kenny. And the reason why it goes to Kenny because he really has no actual issues in this movie. If you if you, if you look back, if you look Pretty back neutral, at it, yeah. Kenny is main. Plot is to be Maxine's husband. That is pretty much it. He you know, beefing. He gave Lim money when when Lim was hurting. He gave Miles that. Hey man, what, you did that for real? Damn. He probably asked how about the box later on. But he, Kenny had <laughs> Kenny had no real problems. Kenny had no shame either. He hey had, Lim, what you get locked up for? Yeah, at doing the table. What? You know what I'm saying? That wasn't you even got a conversation. Doing what? We were talking about fishes. Uh, <laughs> hey Lim, why you get locked up, man? How the fuck is that your business, Kenny? You know that, that that type of shit. So, but still, I, I feel like out of all the characters, Kenny was the only one who really had no climax. He was, he was just there to be Maxine's husband, so therefore he had no drama. Yeah. Uh, he even bought his newborn da- daughter a computer. Man, you are a good man. That was an a old Mac school performer. Mac color uh, ones. Like they was excited on that about shit. that color. Oh, email yeah. girl. It had email. It had email. A CD ROM. When it said it had a fax, I'm like, mm, now you just throwing shit in there. <laughs> 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 like, what, what, what all come on I wonder what color they had. Yellow, pink, Probably blue, was green. I think green. I'm telling you, green. It, it was the old ones that, that they still had, they still put uh, Will of Fortune on there. One of those old school, like it's like a generic Will of Fortune game they had on there, mm. and it was the most easiest puzzle you can you can ever like solve. Like, oh, fun! I get it. Three letters. That's easy. <laughs> uh, my uh, that chick award is going to go to. I was gonna give it to Terry, but now looking back at it, fuck that. <laughs> and, I, I, and I was gonna give it to Terry because she went out the out the mouth with that knife, and I respect that because she went she went with the bullshit. She gonna kill that nigga that night. But I give it to Maxine because, like Los has said, Maxine is the link that keeps pretty much the family together. She's the strongest one out of the three sisters. So for me, I, I love how she was played. I like how her character pretty much stayed strong throughout, mm-hmm. even though she had her breaking point as well. But I, I, I give it to Maxine. This fool award, though, is not going to Miles. Because, I mean, yeah, he fucked up, but I wouldn't give it to him. Nah. This fool award 100% goes to Butterscotch, uh, uh, Butterscotch. M- McGee and his red ass lips. I hate this fucking character. Like, he, they set him up to where you are supposed to hate him at first sight. Oh, Glance, lick, yeah. lip, lick, lick, lip licking. Oh, See, I didn't even get it. Out. LL's fault. <laughs> Come on, you <laughs> lick licking lick son of a bitch. You said the same thing. You yellow bastard. I hate this nigga. Yeah, so I, wonder, I wonder how they describe that character. Everywhere you go, just be chapped. Everywhere you go, <laughs> be just recently moisturizing your it's lips. It's LL's fault. I'm telling you. Like, he did that, that like that was hot, though. Like, you know, if I lick this a little bit more, she going to think of me. Like, no, I, I'm, I'm going to buy you a uh, You have to spit on your lip, bro. You need some. Like, are you okay? I got some Carmax in my purse. You exactly. want some? <laughs> <laughs> Cut that out. Uh, I, I, I'll agree with you. The movie flows so tight. I kind of can't cut anything. It's almost like every scene is like a key scene to where like... Which is good for a nearly two-hour movie. But it doesn't feel like two hours. That's, the, that's what kind of no, makes it, it stand up. Uh, I would probably cut the uh, dancing scene, but like KC said, it's just it's too... You need that scene because that's practically the climax. Because when we get when we, when we get back to the house, 
there's very little talking. I think Miles actually offends her for a second, and then he dips out. And she got turned on by being offended, and it goes give him the box. But low key, it could have, um, it could have <laughs> literally went from the con. They could have used the concert high. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, and they the could have used that, and then the conversation audition that followed, was extra. And yeah, so I, I could see how that could have got cut out. And uh, my iconic scene is uh, when uh, uh, Terry caught Miles fucking face in the, in the studio. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, yeah, but kudos to Vanessa Williams because she <laughs> That's a good scene. You saw the really you saw the scene. murderer into her body when she <laughs> saw murderer. it happen. It was like, oh, she gonna kill somebody. No, but but in all serious in all seriousness though, it, it does go back to when Big Mama had stepped in, pulled Lim off whoever the fuck about her, and pretty much did the old lady dance with him and it looked cute. Right. And you know, like most big mamas will do is come in, they'll jump in and they'll save the day. So I in all seriousness, I do. I, I love that. My grandma, my grandma, my grandma, like fuck <laughs> that. No, that bitch gotta go. Quick hits, not a whole lot of them. Uh, director George Tillman announced in 2015 he was working on a sequel to the movie called More Soul Food. Mm. Uh, Makai Pfeiffer, who played Lim, was at one point married to Melinda Williams, who plays Bird in the cable series. True. I, I didn't know that. Did you know that? Negative. I know that. Vanessa L. Williams, Vivica A. Fox, and Nia Long all previously p- starred in The Fresh Prince of Bel Air, all playing different love interests to Will Smith's character. Wow. Nia's was my favorite. Yeah. Nia was when the they were in that therapist session and they had the little phone things hitting each other. Nia was the best. <laughs> uh, Irma P. Hall is the only cast member who reprised her role in the cable series Soul Food. Was it like flashbacks? Yeah, I think it was. All Cause, uh, she was like a prominent character. She just mm-hmm. like played like flashbacks. It just felt weird because it's not the original cast. It's like mm. S- somebody was in it that was from the original cast, not just Irma P. Hall. I could have swore somebody that came back. From Google. <laughs> Google it. From Courtney B. Vance was offered the role of Kenny Simmons, but had to turn it down as he was working on another project. I think that was a good call. Who was that? Courtney B. Vance. Uh, shit. Oh, um, it's um, it's. Angela's husband. Johnny Cochran in uh, People vs. OJ. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Gotcha. For who? For Kenny. Mm, that wouldn't have That's played. That's old ass husband That wouldn't have Vivian. played out right. Wait, this was 97, so. Still. He still <laughs> looked older. He's still, I mean, he looks laughing. exactly the same as he did 20 years ago, so. These are facts. Um, <laughs> Vanessa Williams was working on, on the film Hoodlum at the same time as this film. Since both movies were being filmed in Chicago, she would switch days on working on both films at the same time. That's cool. Dedication. God love it. Well, that's Soul Food. 20 years later, I want to thank y'all, thank my family, my Beat Network family for hanging out with me. This shit went way Thanks. longer than expected. Thanks for, oh yeah, it did. Well, I mean, it's four of us, so. Yeah, well, yeah. but you know what? I I, uh, I love having you guys on. Your second, you two second time back. I don't even count your shit anymore. You're always your love. There's nothing special about my appearance. <laughs> yeah, <me>. but <laughs> you two both came back, and I love you guys for it. Uh, let's go, ladies first. Casey, let the people know where they can find you. Plug your shit, girl. Of course, tune into Pillow Talks in in the city. Um, we're on iHeartRadio now. Thanks, you guys. Uh, Shout out. Sex is what we're talking about. You can find. She said, "Sex is what we're talking about." So emphasize it. <laughs> um, Nasty I'm talk. on Instagram at Mrs. M R S C Jackson J A K C S O N. You can find me on the Beat Network page, also. Miss Ebony Adagun. So you can find me on Twitter. Fumi Adagun, F-U-N as a Nancy, M as a Mary, I-A-D-A-G-U-N. Uh, you can find me on Snapchat as Ebony A-88, A- also on Instagram. And my Facebook name is too long, so I'm not going to even try to spell that right now. Find her on Facebook at Ebony Apple Bottom Jeans. <laughs> <laughs> you can follow her. Loose with the fur. <laughs> Whole club. Looking at her. Uh, Big Los, oh yep. my God. Big Los, CEO Beat Network. Come on, man, you putting so the much. The man on with the plan. Come on now. We love you. I'm dark skin blushing right now. <laughs> I was just thinking that. Uh, at Big Los, UTC. <laughs> What's dark skin blushing? Just real quick. I don't know because like you, you blushing, can't, really you can't tell. see we just, it. We, we don't have dimples. It's just like it has nothing to do with dimples. I, I, feel, like, I, I feel like you're blushing really hard. Like, nothing said, to I'm do like, with I'm dimples. dark skin blushing. That's well, hilarious. I think that's the only thing we can get away with. Like hard smiling. We, what, you know, be weird. What if, like, when dark niggas blush, we just got blacker? Like, we started looking like Wesley. So it felt like a mood ring. Or exactly. Like, <laughs> like, like if, if, if if our blush was like a mood ring, that should be wild. But anyway, so for mad, we turn purple. Exactly. Mm. At Big Lush UTC on Twitter. Uh, I've been trying to tweet a little more. Um, Ooh. I know, right? 
Um, Snapchat Big Los. Of course, y'all know me on Facebook as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave you to plug all the social media for Beat, because I don't do that on the noise, and that's a fucking mouthful. It is a whole lot, of, it's a whole lot going on. A whole lot going on. But uh, you can find me on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, simply at I am Jay Alonzo. You talk to me and I'll talk back. The Back to the Classic Movie Talk group is up and running on Facebook. Jump in and join the conversation, as well as join. Uh, what, what's your uh, Facebook group for Pillow Talk? It's Pillow Talking with Truth and Mrs. Jackson. Come on over there and start Pillow Talking. Nasty shit. It's great. Uh, uh, nasty shit. <laughs> nasty is just great, guys. Like, it's just great. It's like, no. no yeah. Uh, besides that, of course, titty bop. You, you can find us on Beat Network. <laughs> titty Bop. Perfect. Hashtag Titty Bop. I'm going to put it on the shirt. Uh, you can find us on Beat Network Online.com. You get your links to all your favorite podcasts, as well as merchandise. You get yourself a cup or a notebook that Ebony can stuff in her bra and wear at any time. Oh it's college rule paper. You'll never know. <laughs> You'll never know. Titty Bop. Uh, titty Bop. <laughs> And uh, shout out to the rest of the uh, Beat Network family. We love you guys. Shout out to the whole iHeartRadio crew. We'll be back next week. K Williams will be back next week. And we can dive into why he hates soul food from a personal place. What's the movie next week? Uh, I don't want to say it now. Oh, he'd be like, all right, after that sad story, Star Kid. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? <laughs> we'll talk about well, this. Here we go. Good Will Hunt. Let's exactly. do it. This has been great. We're out this thing. I'm Jay Alonzo. Peace.